Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get right down to it, y'all. You tune in to Floridian Rollo. Let's go. I'm your host, Floridian Rollo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, look here. I'm coming on today to talk to y'all. We're going to have a pack house the next couple of days. Tomorrow at 7 p.m., 4 p.m. West Coast time, 5 p.m. Mountain time, 6 o'clock Central time. Make sure y'all thumbs up that video. We will have on Pastor Rufus tomorrow at 7 p.m. That's right. Make sure you share that video, as Nino Brown would say. And I will have on some... Special great guests of mine. Yes. And then Saturday, we will have also two shows. Oh, yeah. Even though I'm not monetized, we will definitely get the support via Cash App. Make sure you have all notifications on. And then I get ready for the trip soon. I'm going to have on some people on. So be on the lookout for that. Get ready to travel somewhere. And then I'm going to have a show in the month of May. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Just got the message. I got to book these people. So I got to get on my grind. I got to get on my grind. Because, see, when I have guests come on, I got to make sure they're good and taken care of. So I got to book two very interesting people that want to come on my show, come to the studio. I have to take care of them. Even though I'm not monetized, I know the support going to come through. I'm demonetized until July 9th, July 9th, 2024. I gave a video to YouTube. I said, this is my channel. It's not a reuse. It's me. I changed the name, Blase Wussy Do. I did a two minute video presentation. They consider it not to be me. It is what it is. That's not going to stop the show. That's going to continue. We're going to continue to build. Thank you to those who subscribe to the channel. So, all the videos will be ready this upcoming week. In the upcoming week, in the upcoming week, in the month of May, it's going to be even bigger. So, hey, Hey, it is what it is. So shout out to everybody that's tuning in right now. We will have a late show tonight. However, the big show once again starts tomorrow with Mr. Rufus coming on, other brothers coming on, and then going to have a lady come on. We're going to have the New York Recon model come on Saturday. Guys, this is all the Lord's doing. I can't wait to have on these people. And then the trip soon before you know it. And then I come back to New York for a little while in Florida. I'm coming home. I got so many people booked in Florida. I got so many people booked in Florida. So all your support is for me to book the people and to have on some. Listen, y'all, let me tell you something. Pastor Dow, you don't know what fun it's like. I'm going to show you what fun it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no fun over there in straight way. The fun is over here. Where all the ladies is coming over here, the fellas, everybody going to be having fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I got to go get my clothes ready. Because you know when the ladies come by, you got to be on your ish. I got some foxy ladies coming through. Where they gonna have a good time at the studio? Better than Fresh and Fit podcast show. 
I will be up there in the top five of podcasts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got some stuff up my sleeve. Yeah. The ladies don't have fun over there by straight weight. They measurable. And you dudes are measurable. I'm going to show you a good time. You're going to be bashing your head in them straightway houses when I get started. Once again, it's about to be fire on YouTube. Shout out to New Bree Ringo, Martha Messenger. We're bringing the show over here. The brother said we're going to bring the show over to Rollo. That's love because, you know, they're going to come. We're going to be packed. It's going to be thousand people finally. Tomorrow, 7 o'clock, what? We're going to have over a thousand people over here. I say on estimate about two, 3,000 people watching tomorrow. I will finally hit the 1,000 watch time tomorrow. Oh, oh you know they're going to watch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be. Ladies, fellas, and then from Mr. Rufus, we're going to have on somebody, a lady that's going to tell it all with her husband, and then I bring on that fine Puerto Rican model chick on Saturday night. We will be live momentarily. We're going to do a video together so y'all can watch it. It will be premiere. And then sooner before you know it, I'm not saying what state I'm going to to meet up with my supporters. I'm traveling. And then I'll come back to New York to take care of the finale of the contract and have one of the biggest shows on YouTube in the month of May with a baddie, a supermodel baddie, where these guys going to lose their freaking minds. Listen, I'm back the way it's supposed to be. Oh, yeah, and my exes will be watching. Oh, yeah. That says, if you watch it, get ready to see how your ex-man do things. Remember, you didn't believe. Well, now it's coming to fruition. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. If only y'all knew what I'm getting myself into. And I have very high self-control, I may add. I'm going to break this sector of YouTube such as never before. I'm reaching 2,000 subscribers and climbing. Shout out to the brothers seeing the growth in the channel. All praises to the Lord. I see we got Simply Natural Black Life. We have Jacqueline in the house. I ain't passed the dial. You, you mad that I got some interesting women by my channel? You mad that the women love coming over here. You looking at the photos. You lusting after the women that watch my channel. Pastor Dirty Dower Diddy. You mad that they over by Ringo. You guys, the Israelite community is jealous. So-called Israelite community is jealous of the ladies coming over to New Breeze, Ringo, Mark the Messenger, and my channel. You upset? Why are you so upset for? 
I'm going to give you more reasons to get upset. By the time the month of May comes, you will be saying my name, Pastor Dow, because you're going to see the fine of the fine. You forcing women to get with you. I don't have to force women to get with me. <laughs> I don't have to force women to get with me. They choose me, Dirty D. Dower. They choose me, homie. They just waiting to wait for the right time to send me a message to say, Rollo, I'm ready to come see you. I'm ready. You forcing women who are taken to leave their husbands for you. Oh, miserable, drunken, no talent, boring ass, bold, jingling shine that you are. Oh, yeah, I'm going to roast you, Dirty D. Dollar. You ain't no fun to talk. You just boring. We're going to bring the fun. We're going to roast you in multitude of ways. Divinely artists, what's happening? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so, everybody, I got to get ready to go. Hey, make sure y'all go check out the movie when you get a chance. I would love to be in Florida to see the movie today. The movie has come out. I booked my ticket. And I'm going to go see the movie. And I will be breaking it down by New Breed Global Truth. It has finally come to see the Civil War. The Civil War movie, I will go see it. I'm getting myself ready after this show. I'm going to go see the movie. I will be back on after the movie is over with. So, yeah, pretty much. Do a quick upload and talk with you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. with Mr. Rufus. And the brothers will come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I want to thank each and every person to say, Rollo, keep doing your thing. I know you demonetize. We will definitely support you. The people will support you. Let me tell you something, Mr. Dower, Dirty Dower. Oh, I'm not calling you Mr. You are Potato Head. Potato Head, Dirty D. Dower. Let me tell you something. My audience support me. What you're trying to say, I'm broke? Broke? <laughs> broke? No, you broken hearted. You broken hearted. The difference between me and you is, even though I'm demonetized, I'm still doing content for the most high. And for the people to get the edification and to better themselves. You, you all grumpy and miserable. The men looking sad because the women looking sad. When the brothers over here, we having a good time. You can't tell the women where to go. You can't tell the women who to listen to. You can't tell the men who to listen to. Who gave you that authority? Who gave you that authority? <laughs> so, hey, look, ladies, fellas, make sure you have all notification on. Make sure you have all notification on. It's about to get very lit tomorrow. It's about to get lit tomorrow. It's going to be one of the big time shows I had ever since the having the brothers on and having a few shows been lit this one is going to surpass that because of the 
person that known this barrage for 14 years. And you will be watching and you will lose your mind. And your channel is going down. Ours is going up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I am very looking forward to having on Mr. Rufus. And a uh, new breed, Ringo, we'll definitely tune in. Martha Messenger, everybody going to tune in. The whole black sector, the Gentiles going to tune in. They're going to see a show of show. How men know how to t talk and conduct with each other. So. Now that I say that, I want to thank each and every moderator. Thank you, moderators, for holding it down since the channel has been growing. Thanks to the people that's been sharing, liking, the brothers in the truth, such as New Breed, Ringo, Martha Messenger, sharing my videos. You moderators sharing my videos. You folks who are not moderators sharing my videos. You members, you're still members now. Some of you are still members. So members is good for until the month of May. So if you still, even though you may not be a member, it don't show member on here, your membership was run out after the month of May. So, hey, if you want to stay on there, you know, because I might put some content on membership, you know, you're still a member, you can still... But if you can't join membership now, we'll, we'll work some things out. If you want to sign up for Patreon, you can sign up for Patreon. We'll work something out if you want to go that route. If y'all want to go that route. And so Carter says, well, Rollo, one of the top observers in his YouTube space, bringing in the heat. Absolutely. All praises. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm very excited about the situation that's about to come up. So I got to. I got to really, let me tell you something. Everybody I told my situation, I said, we're still going to do the show. We got to do the show, even though I'm not monetized, even though I'm paying the people to come on the show. That's the sacrifice I'm willing to make for the greater good. Because let me tell you something. Yeah, it would have been nice to be monetized because all the ads going through, yeah, more money would have came in. This is a test. This is a test. I'm on a new level, as Martha Messenger said. I'm officially on a new level. And if you think about it, when I look back at this demonetization, it's only telling me I level up because look at everybody I'm booking. I'm willing to pay out of my own pocket. I'm paying out of my own pocket to have these people come to the studio, pay for them to get here and to make sure they get back. Y'all know that costs a lot to have y'all to see the type of work I'm doing with people that I met in person, not on the internet. So I'm meeting people at a particular state that I know on the internet. These people that's coming on my show I didn't meet them on the internet, meaning they come into my studio. I met them in person. So you're going to see the type of people I deal with in different brackets of the world. At the end of the day, they know, they know where I stand at. And the, the thing about it is they know I do a polygyny thing. The ladies, they don't have no issues with that because they, they're about business. So, hey, it is what it is. So, you know how these other content creators be like, oh, I, I don't I don't pay for shorties to come on a show. That's capping. I take care of my people because they're going to put me on to people. Of course, I'm going to take care of them. Even people that used to come on my show, I would hit them up with the cash app. You know what I'm saying? For coming on the show. Or I send them, send them some ways to make money. We eat away, right? So, to answer someone's question, is Rollo 
high value man. The KS talking point. Let me just say this. I'm already there. The thing is, it's time to be a millionaire. And it's time for y'all to be a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, she's here. Okay, so hold on a second, y'all. I got to get her to come on. Uh-oh, she's here. Uh-oh, the guest is here. The link is coming in the chat right now. I repeat, the link is coming in the chat. She's coming on now. Uh-oh. Come on in. Woo-wee. Get rid of moderators. Get rid of living proof. Get rid of that troll. Moderators, get rid of that troll living proof. Pack pack them up, as Ringo would say. No false religion stuff we're talking about. What are you talking about? We have on she okay, the person is coming on. Pack that, pack that, barrage troll out of here. Okay, waiting for you to connect your thing. Ooh, you ain't, oh, it's about to get lit, y'all. Everybody share this video. Share this video. Ooh, it's about to get hot for a minute. We got a, we got about, I got about an hour to kill. Okay, so she's here. Oh, let's wait for her to connect. Make sure you you agree to disconnect if you're listening. Disconnect and accept the microphone and the video. You have to accept both. Shit. The, the person is coming on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's about to get lit, y'all. It's about to get lit. Let me put the link in for, let me put the link in for the person again. Uh, the person is not connecting. What's going on? Hold on a second. Hold on a second, y'all. Let me see. Let me type in the chat. Let me show the person, excuse me, let me show the person what's going on. Yeah, you gotta accept both to come on. You have to accept both to come on. The person is having a little bit of a difficult time. All right, hold on one second, y'all. Let me send a message. Get rid of it. <laughs> I'm what? I'm what, troll? I'm what, troll? I'm what, troll? Troll. Goodbye. Hey, stop using somebody's Wi Fi in the, out there in the street. Stop using somebody's Wi-Fi out there in the street. I'll block whoever I want. I'll block you, troll. What you going to do? Come up with a new account? Huh, troll? Okay, there we go. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, so um, I used to come on your platform. I'm the Caribbean girl. I used to come on and you used to always ask me, how is my husband doing? I always yeah. used to talk highly about him. I stopped coming on on um, just coming on live stream on YouTube because I've been being slandered. The videos that I sent you, the reason I didn't post it in the comments is because I don't want them to know what videos they are and yeah. they go and erase them. Because these yeah, videos are- what they're doing right now. Yeah, I'm gonna send it to, 
I'm going to say Flamingo and Newbury, absolutely. Yes, they have a software where they can download those videos. I didn't even click on it because what they do is straightway put exposing, like, you know, how you do tags and stuff. Yeah. So what they do is in the videos, when any little videos that they post up, what they do is they always put expose and pass the DAO or they will have their minions from their, their platform talking about what I think about straightway called and it will be them from members of the um, members of the ministry so that it will confuse people and have people click on them so they will know that okay somebody is researching uh, about their dirty deeds. So this is how they know, okay, if a video starts um, seeing viewership, like they're getting views on videos where it talks about exposing past the blow and they put that out, they know that people are looking into those videos. So they're very strategic. Okay, so you don't say what, what location, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be, yes. I know the location you're talking about. So the location yeah. you're talking about was mostly townhomes, correct? Yes. Was it set and apart? Was it set apart? Was it set apart or was it a close gated community? It was they were stationed in Orange Park, Jacksonville, no. Florida. No, no, don't say don't say the area, because then they're gonna catch on. Okay. <laughs> so they stationed at a particular place, a townhouse. Okay, so what year did you get invited to the to their congregation and ministry? In 2021, sometime around May to June, and I distanced myself from them on January 5th of 2021. Can you um, name the person? My bad. Can you, can you name the person that tried to hit on you behind your husband's back? So it's not, it's not, um, it's not hidden on what they do is they silently, they silently, um, put women without their knowledge, the women and the men do not communicate. So in order for you to actually, um, fellowship with them, you have to ask for permission from your husband. They did not allow me to fellowship with them until they heard from my husband that it was okay. So while this was taking place, my husband was incarcerated. He was in prison at the time. I'm a woman that I stayed loyal. I didn't right. care what I was going to go through um, what was being done. Okay. So, um, so what they, uh, what they did is I was able to get him on the phone with, um, one of the elders, uh, they called him brother, Michael spiritual combat. Oh, that, that food Jay-Z go ahead. Yes. So, um, he been on the phone with my husband and he asked for my per um, husband's permission for me to congregate with them to attend their assembly okay. so Rango and new breed has always stated this and i will be very honest that i agree with them 100 percent because this is how they get women to um become indoctrinated they use the women's um you know aggression and the haughtiness to come at them so the reason I lasted with that um, that fellowship in so long was because being submissive, being humble, being quiet, being obedient, all of these things was normal to me. I did not fight back, I did not argue. And like Jeremy says, you are going to be cool with Pastor Dow if you kiss their behinds. If you're not kissing their behinds, if you challenge them in any way, scripture for scripture, proving all things, you're not going to be on good terms with them for long. So there is levels to straight away. Okay, so meaning so, that, yes. 
So, so the, I just want to I get what you're saying on that. We're going to get yes. we get to that. Not to cut you off. No problem. Did the pastor in question try to make a move on you? I want I want to emphasize this because a lot of ladies we seen have been forced to leave their husband. They they try to persuade you from leaving your husband to get with one of the elders in the ministry. So being that I, I'm going to be honest, I don't know what happened with um, Jeremy's wife or um, Mama Nelly. I think they went beyond and they went extensive because like I said, the men, the, the members of the communities, they do not they do not um they do not communicate with the women they don't communicate or talk or hold conversation with the women the man stay with the man they fellowship with the man and the woman fellowship with the woman so i dealt with the women and with the women in the congregation these women are the most wickedest women that i've ever dealt with in my life mm. so what they do is they put the women that is already and that's why i said straightway has levels to it okay where they will include you in certain groups and exclude you how new you are how obedient you are how ass kissing you are this is how they determine which level of um secrecy you're going to well, be it's like in. A society <laughs> yes it's Ooh. like different levels industry talk okay so i was in a low level industry right yes so would you say that they was grooming you would you exactly would you grooming you? based so on what how much indoctrination yes what was they trying to indoctrinate you in so they was trying to make it seem they was trying to um persuade me into turning against my husband because he was again. costuming. They the audience that's tuning in. They try to persuade you to do what? Turn against my husband because okay. they was using this abandonment because he was in prison. My husband, even though he was in prison, he was always able to send money in to take care of me and my children. He always communicated, but they was using scripture to try to convince me that my husband abandoned me and he chose to make that decision by getting himself in trouble with the law. So they was using that abandonment um, indoctrination, same way as they use on Mama Nelly, same way they use on um, Jeremy's wife. They was doing that. Troll, moderators, be on top of your stuff because I'm interviewing the lady and the trolls, they come in the straight ways, coming with their troll accounts, okay? Anything you see unusual, mods, block them. No chances, block them immediately. I should not be blocking them. Mods, be on top of your game. Go ahead, I'm sorry. So how I got involved with straight way and fair is I would say the leading reason I even came across straightway was due to fear. Fear of uh, the pandemic and the outcome, the food shortages, these type of stuff. So this is right there. Yes. Was they, was they putting fear into the women more than the yes men? Is it safe to say that? Absolutely, because when the women, and like I said, I'll keep going back to the, the base of it, straightway right. has levels. Meaning that the more closer you get, if you live on land, that is because they have vetted you so much to the point that they see you as fully indoctrinated, fully confused. This is how you get land, this is how you become leadership, head, when they wow. feel that they take they have taken everything that you have even cars and house you have sold everything give up everything you have to move on land this is when you start to see their true colors 
I never lived on land, but I was very close to getting in, um, living in communal with these people. So let me ask you this. The yes. The place in question, I'm familiar with the place in question. So they start you off in these small homes. So they have, they have, a, lot of say, they have a lot of say in certain apartment homes. Is that safe to say? Because yes. I my research and I talked to people in the know, and they told me that they're familiar with this pastor and that yes. they have certain townhomes they, they run under a certain section. So they, they, they get you comfortable, like the industry, get yes. you comfortable to go through the door. So yes. how close was you going through the door without your husband? So it was the step where I had to live in their house together. So they was trying to sleepily um, scare me into trying to give up my home give up my appointment what? and my property so that I will live in a house with three other families. This is how they do it. They start wow. off, um, they start off state by state. So you have, for example, you have Kansas, straightway Kansas, you have straightway um, Houston, you have straightway Tennessee, you have straightway Georgia. These are, the foundation where they start you as there is level. And then when you're fully, you have fully given up all you have, they start moving you on property because they can fully control you. You really don't have any way to go. You have no say. This is how they can fully show their colors. So they telling, they telling you to give up a place that so, you, you, you work for, you and your husband work for, in order for them to get rid of him, that's one of the, that's how they do in the industry. They tell people to um, to leave certain people because they were trying to get me in the corn industry. And when they try to get me in the corn industry, they they telling me, "Oh, you you can't bring certain people with you," which I wasn't going to get into it. So they was trying to indoctrinate you to disrespect your husband. Yes. And because you didn't do it, then they started making threats to you. Correct. Yes, but uh, I, it's it's such a long it's such a long insight that I can give you. So when you start off, you have to go to Elder Becca. You have to call the straight straightway Tennessee Town Hall. They, there's like one one phone on the the property. The land I've been I've been at this um the Tabernacle 2021 Tabernacle. I sent you those videos as yeah. well. I've it. been in the, bapti the baptism video and I've shown you that I'm the lady with the two children in that video. Um, for, those, for those, before you continue, for those who don't know, I know of her back in 2021. She used to come on. As you can see, her name is DJ Shannon Shea. She used to come on my channel back in the days. Always acknowledge her, her husband. Her husband is very privy to me. So, of course, he gave her permission to talk. Uh, I don't get into women marital businesses and stuff like that. However, because she got into straightway at that particular time, she's explaining what's going on. Go ahead, continue. Yes. Um, so uh, on the land, if you're wondering, they strategically set up where they're going to buy land and it's far away from basically civilization. It's like the the straightway in um straightway Tennessee is in Lafayette, Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. It's there and it's like 50 miles away from any Walmart, any gas station. It's far up on the hills. So in that area, there's no towers where you can use phone or internet or anything like that. Basically, the only way of communication is true landline communication which is heavily monitored by the elders you cannot just use the phone without your permission you can't make calls without any permission or anything like that and you have to go into the town hall to make calls or use the internet well, it's tracking what you're saying on the phones it's tracked yes yes 
It is. And wow. you have to get permission. Phones are track, y'all. You hear it? That's that industry stuff. Go ahead. Yeah. So in out of they how they communicate on straightway on on the land is through walkie-talkies. Walkie-talkies that have long distance range. That's how they communicate. That's how I was communicating when I went to the Feast of Tabernacle. So you can't, there's nothing else you can do. You can't reach out or anything. You have to communicate through walkie talkies. And the only phone, your phone doesn't have service, your cell phones, it's completely out of service. Wow. So, yes. Ooh -wee. Oh my goodness. That's, and, and people don't realize, like, my cousins in the NBA, they don't allow to use their phones. And they got to get permission. So that means what Ringo said was correct, y'all. Yeah. They're not allowed to use the phones, and the men are not allowed to use the phones unless you're an elder and you you got, you went through the door. Like, yeah. You went, you know, you go through that door and they, they, they get got a piece of you. It's just like the industry. Yes. My goodness. So the question I have is your husband's out for one. Is he out? Oh, he's out. And he, he was challenging Pastor Dow because when he, the reason why he wasn't able to listen to any of Pastor Dow's message is because at the time he was in prison and he wasn't able to have access to the internet. Okay. And when he got out and he was listening to everything that they were saying, and he, he realized that these men are twisting scripture and he began to challenge them like Ringo has been challenging. He began to challenge my brother Michael, scripture after scripture, precept on precept, proving all things. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't like that. So they start to come down on me and start to pressure me into trying to move in with them and try to put bad thoughts, negative thoughts in my mind, saying he abandoned me and yada, yada. All of those things that um, Eric and Jeremy has been saying is very factual. So what they do is they come at you when you find them on, on social media and you reach out, you have to reach out to the town hall in Tennessee and reach out to Elder Becker. Elder Becker ends up contacting you and reaching back to you after however long and then this is when they put you with the nearest straightway whichever state you are you is in so for example i'm in florida so the nearest one was right there in jacksonville right do it's they no still, longer there do they, do they still have it up there or they don't have no it brother michael brother michael and Coria israel was running the straight way in jacksonville they still the have last, it or no no they because they move i don't know if they move on land but i know they moved from i believe 2021 no 2022 or 2023 i think it's 2023 that they move out of jacksonville or Florida period, and they moved to oh, Tennessee. Right, to the most high. Yes, I was confirmed. Yeah. That's confirmed. The most high kicked them out. The, the most one high kicked them out. Yes. They the one before the that. Because, he, because he'd been trying to get Florida for a minute, and through my connections, he'd been going to Orlando because, you know, Lely got family in Orlando. Yeah, I said it. I'm not scared of you clowns. And so... The thing is, he's been trying to get land in Florida, and Florida is not giving him no land. Shout out to Governor DeSantis. Shout out to him. <laughs> yeah. Kick them assholes out. <laughs> and I hope the same thing happened in Georgina. He'd lose that shit, too, what he did to Rufus. But go ahead. Yes. So um, above Brother Rufus, uh, I understand that he gave all he have. And this is what this is where straightway began to crumble because Rufus been there all these years. This is where this is what hit the crack in the wall and made everything just spill out the way he treated Rufus. So a lot of people I've been seeing a lot of people coming at um before, before Rufus. You, before you yeah. continue. What's Rufus confirming to us? What's Rufus the account? 
orchestrator of the ministry? Yes or no? Of uh, Jar Yes, he was the head. But so I'm did just... he get did he get everybody to galvanize the trips for Sinister P Diddy Dow as Ringo called it? They he organized the trips, not the other guys. He organized the trips to Jamaica, mainly Jamaica, and potentially Colombia, but more so Jamaica. Because it's confirmed by the video I did about it. So I can't I can't like, really speak on this, but I'm I wanna I wanna kinda kinda um help um give a deeper explanation as to okay. why um Rufus is it's kind of it's like he's he's in the middle of this. Not that he is not a caring person or anything, but you have to understand when you give all that you have, and this is it's a long testimony. He been there very long, but he gave all he had to move on land with Pastor Dow, and this is where they show their true colors. And as time passed, just like these celebrities make sacrifices and the industry hold dirt on them, that's basically what happened. So they, even though they don't want to participate in certain stuff, they have to, or they have no way to go. They're going to be shunned. They're going to be kicked out. They're going to be homeless. And a lot of people are fair to go back into the world and have nothing. So a lot of people have been coming down on Pastor Rufus. Even though he have a lot of information, I feel he should, you know, just be open. Yeah. yeah, so a lot be, being that he had nothing, it's like he he was he had to kind of partake in a lot of stuff that was going on. But I I'm just I'm going to just make it very clear that the communal, there is levels to straightway. So there's straightway Georgia, there's straightway Kansas, like I said, different different areas in America where they have communities. The communities, all of them, there's a group, there's a head group. And how they communicate, I don't know if it changed since then, but in 2021, they used to come communicate to an app named Michael Polo. This app, they put you in different group based on how new you are to the congregation. So the head group, which is all the elders, everybody that live on land in straightway, as well, does everybody that's they heavily was tracking y'all. They was tracking y'all. It's like a tracker because yeah. in the industry they track all their um all the people in the industry where they going. They know who, just like how they track regular folks, but yes. they, they track them even more. So they was tracking y'all that device. Yes. Exactly. And they did that to um, Michael Polo because they don't want to use the actual phone so you can track what they're doing. So they use it to an app called Michael Polo. I don't know if they do it still, but they have been doing it. And what they do, they put you in group based on how new you are. There is levels. So if you're new to straightway, you're so only... Like, so not to cut you off, it's, yeah. like, it's like saying that they do a credit check on you. It's like a credit number. And the more How you stupid and yeah, indoctrinated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you're indoctrinated, if they feel that you're indoctrinated enough, you move up to another group where they could part of control you and manipulate you. So you move up to you have you gain access to other communities out of um the state that you're in. So for example, I was only, I only had access when I started off, I was in just straightway sisters, okay. straightway sisters. Then after I congregated with them, couple Shabbats, they moved me to straightway, um, straightway Florida. And this is where all the brothers was in, everybody that attends the Shabbat, this is where you was able to communicate you wasn't able to communicate in that group because it was just for announcements when they're trying to give their information and indoctrination. That was just for that group. But you were only allowed to communicate in straight with sisters, which is amongst the women. Yeah, like a sorority. Yes. Now, straightway on a whole, straightway Florida, there's the, there's the head group which Pastor Dow, 
pass it down on all the different um the different congregation around america what is kansas georgia all of them is in the high group where everybody communicates against amongst each other i didn't get to that level because he wasn't being you wasn't being exactly, fully, exactly. Manipulated. fully ma manipulated they only allow you to get into that when you have given up all you have you don't have no way to go you don't have no way to get out how much money was you giving to the sisterhood how much money was you giving to the sisterhood i give past the dow i lost about eight hundred dollars in total that i give to the ministry and i never got back and i give two thousand which i eventually asked back for my money because i was gonna expose them you know what I mean? I was gonna report them because I give I give I almost all it, I have. I get the money yeah. in cash. They 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 didn't want to track, correct? Yes, I give them in cash. Exactly. So did you take photos or they well, you wasn't allowed to use your phone? That's a that's that's high rate robbery. Did they give you back the two thousand at least? They gave me back all the money. They didn't give me back the eight hundred. The eight hundred went to Pat because I used to donate to his um his cash up, pass it out, and he used to send that praise um symbol. You know that praise emoji. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. I got you. He, he he loves money, even though he talks bad. And I do want you guys to look in because Ringo was um asking about the women. There was a guy that did a video. I, I forget um um brother yashua something like that it was a guy that did a video and it was about him talking he was drunk he was talking about anybody if you look at a woman um he's gonna pull out the stick um the um sticks like they would have impelled people in the past yeah and they will put the women in it and they will get kerosene pastor that was talking about all of that that he would burn the women a straight way if they open their mouth yes that's a very revealing video and if i find it i'm a I, i'm going to um send you the link to it yeah but it's a very very um detailed video the women have no say they sit at the back in the congregation this is why you see all the men in the front right. all the women are the, all the women are instructed to sit at the back they don't sit in the front so I could imagine how those those virgin girls that he called up had felt because there was all men in the front. Oh my goodness. Another thing is you are not allowed to look the man in their eyes. You can't look them. That's why they hold their heads down. Wait, 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 wait. You was not allowed to look at your husband in the eyes? No, like other like men, you you can't this is what when you're talking to men you have to look down on the ground you can't look them in their eyes so they could that's like that's predatorial because they could do something they could do something subliminally to you if you're not paying attention to what's going on so if yeah so if you watch if you watch the video with the ver the auction the virgin auction you see all the way the all the girls looking down and then when you watch all the video with pastor dow with um mama nelly she's not looking she's looking down you see um um mama no, no, nelly's, nelly's daughter was, no, nelly's she's looking no 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 not to no disrespect yeah she controls past passes p diddy she controls him now yes yes she was the bougie one when i went to the feast of tabernacle i saw her and i wanted to um tell her i they're not allowed to interact with any newcomers Cause I try to wave, um, um, what you call, pa um, Mother Carol. I try to wave her. Um, she she's treated like shit. Honestly, I'm sorry to say, but she's treated like dirt, like dirt beneath Pastor Dow's feet. He treats her like crap, and he treats Mama Nelly like she's she's so special. She was the only one driving the car. I rarely see Mother Carol driving the vehicles. She was the ones that was driving his um, you know, his escalator, whatever it is. And he got a maid back, right? 
whatever. I, I think it's a Maybach. I don't know the what brand. I, what I say? What I say? That one, it, yeah, what that I one say? in the video. I told you he had a Maybach. I saw the, the one in the video. Yes, that's that one came. I believe that one came from the Dowi that he got from um for Eric's um Eric's daughter. He was gifted a Jeep, as well as um some money, which added up to one hundred k. Yeah, he got that Maybach. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that Maybach. The bulletproof yeah. Maybach. He got that bulletproof Maybach for custom made for three hundred thousand. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So their land, what they do, they have security on their land. The security stands on. You see the guys that stand on the wall in the congregation when they're having their their um Shabbat service. The guys that stand stand on the wall, they they carry um they carry guns. And then the entrance for straightway, there's guys sitting around there, um, guarding there with guns. So getting on that property and getting off of it is kind of like how the military moves. You can't get out. Once you're in, you can't get out. You, you need permission. So these people, it's like they're trapped. They, they can't get out once they move on land. They're trapped. They don't have their vehicles. They don't have nothing. The men are heavily indoctrinated. Basically, Pastor Dow will not like you and you will not be in his favor if he cannot control you. And then he has to control your wife as well. So you as a man, you have to be fully obedient to him and follow everything that he says. And he runs your household. He monitors everything that goes on in your household. Mm. Monitor everything that goes on in your household. You have no privacy. So that, that leads me to tell you, that means that they can hear y'all doing you know, respectfully doing your thing with your husband. So they could oh. be they could be listening to other men doing certain things like how in the industry they have the house, they have the um the person set up certain things in the house to keep tabs. It could be you doing something private with your husband. They could have been hearing all types of things to keep tabs on y'all. Oh, so let me give you let me explain that part. Uh -oh. They don't have oh. they don't have cameras in your household. So how it how it runs is you're fellowshipping with straightway. They get you to finally give up your apartment, your house in in the state that you live in. Before you can move around to different community, um, communities around um Florida, um the United States, they have to get you out of your house. They have to get the name, your car name and title transfer into the ministry's name or pass the Dow. They have to get all your property. You have to give up all. So they use this. I don't know if you're familiar with a um, scripture that they twist a lot, that you have to give all you have to follow Christ. So they use that and they twist that to manipulate people. And people are then persuaded to give up their property their possession hoping to follow christ so become closer to christ and this is where they start to wheel you in so after you do that they move you in to a, a house that it, it's not necessarily their house they could be renting it in um whichever state yep, and you will move yep, yep. you will move into a house with other family members for example they will have this wife and she has a husband and she have two children, they will take one bedroom and they will have another wife and her husband and her two children. They will take another bedroom and then you will take the third bedroom. So basically that's your dwelling space. That's your only privacy in that house. But then you have the two other families that are heavily doctrinated that are monitoring you throughout the day. So these women, when I was in the group in Marco Polo, they would come on and they would give their, te um, their you know, the little um, proverbs, information, you know, the little quotes and scriptures and stuff like that. 
And these two women that live on the community, they live on the uh, Florida community. They will always come in the um, they will always come in the video because you could video like video um chat in uh, Marco Polo or post like memes and stuff. So they will always come on and they will be like, ah, oh, praise ya, and they will be crying. And I'm like, why are you crying? Um, it's like they they trying to sham it off as they're um they're crying for joy they're happy that they give their life but i'm saying it's only these two women that will always come on crying that live in um in communal with two other um families they live in the same house with the head the elder of well he was the elder of um florida which was brother michael and sister israel so he would um they lived in that same house that was the two families the other families that lived with them and their two children and they would always come on and cry and i was it, it kind of downed me like i will always go back and tell my husband i don't know something about these women they're always crying in the group chat and nobody has crying they're saying they're praising the lord and thank you these are the two women if you watch on um, any of the videos that they did like the testimony if you go on spiritual combat they might have um this light-skinned sister these two women um and they they're the ones that was living they're the ones that moved to straightway they're the ones that gave all they had to live communal with these people so that's when whatever indoctrination and penalizing and arguments or whatever happens when you reach higher up like like um brother jeremy was saying where he said that pasadao would have a uh, like a a service where it's off camera it's not for the public where he was scrutinized and just talked down and stuff like that i believe that was going on to those two sisters that live communal that they will talk down on them and one day i went to the shabbat service and i decided to go a little earlier i didn't know that was an issue so usually they will have you come out at a specific time where they already put their act together and they put on their best show they had their discussion they will they would then um tell you to come at a certain time where they already got everything together and they act their best act on so one day i decided i'm gonna go earlier because i was excited so when i reached there it's like i walked in to something unexpected the women the women was moving like they was upset and angry with each other but they wasn't showing it they didn't greet me they didn't hug me or open um welcome welcome me with open arm they it's like they was upset that i came and then sister israel she came to me and she told me uh um next time don't come this early next time come at the time that i told you to come and, and, and it was like a problem because i came early so what they was trying to do right and i'm going to explain it to you yes they was they they want you to see that they could be together this is the next question i have because i put out a clip from a particular indiana glaze goshen channel yes the man was kissing on another man hugging him so would you say it's possible that there's a lot of itar chicks meaning going both ways i call it i call the ones the ladies itars and i call the men it would you say that they was doing something together even though they could have a husband that most of them go that route would you say that's going on in that service? I I can't really speak on that because that, like I said, there's levels to straightway. No, no, and, the, the yeah, incident, I don't know if they go. I don't know what goes on in that house. Yes, that's what I'm saying. the incident that 
they was upset with you about. Would you yeah. suggest that you was not supposed to be there for one because you you wasn't you wasn't in the door? Exactly. Can you can you uh, can you sense that you sense any both ways going on? Because I know it's both ways going on in there. I have footage, and shout out to Brother Zaz because he and I was hinting. You know, and we ain't talk, and then we just happen to talk. I say, yo, I think it's a it. I think this thing is a it too, and the it talk, the men with the men, the woman with the woman. So the reason why I say that is because they was trying to break you down, separate you from your husband, because they couldn't break him down. Exactly. So when you got fellas and gentlemen, let me say this: any of these ministries, any of these congregations any of these sites i used to run a business i talk with people that run business now i was a humble person that ran a business at the same time there are businessmen that meet up with these pastors and politicians and they do the weirdest things believe it or not okay so this is this is not this is not a church this is a corporation to, to get you away from your true living God. Read your own Bible. Do your own research. Because if you don't, if you don't, and you depend on people in serious times, those people are starving over there is what she's saying. So let's get to that. Is it true that you're supposed to have allowance as a woman? I suppose so. What? I'm sorry. Allowance. The allowance thing. What was going on with the with the money? You're not supposed to spend certain money. You're supposed to give a certain percentage. How did that go? So, so with the allowance being that I didn't move communal, I didn't live communal with them. I had my own money and everything like that. So what happened is when they get you out of your apartment, they put you on a the closest congregation, the closest community. They were whether it's renting a house and they, everybody would be on it. So they believe in this. Okay everything from all the different straight ways around america will go to pass the dow but then there's levels to that as well so everybody that lives communal say for instance with jacksonville or florida everybody that congregated with them and lived communal would give the elder which is Michael, Michael, spiritual comeback. They will give him all their money, all their paycheck, because they live in one house. So they believe in one pot. And that pot, when all the people that live in that communal, that, that little house together, they um, live in together, their money goes to um, past, um, you know, I call him, him pastor, uh, brother El, um, Michael Israel and his wife and they give that money it goes to our allowance to the main congregation which is straightway tennessee and everybody under that so brother michael will have to ask pastor dow for our allowance to pay the rent for the property that they rent in wow. the yes everything sums up to going to pass the Dow. So this this fool is more of a multi-millionaire than TD Jakes and all these other passes combined. It seemed like to me the way you explaining it is that he's more richer than all these other pastors. Yeah. He's very strategic military wise. You're dealing with a real manipulator. Folks, it's safe to say this person is making more money than a lot of the pastors that Ringo has exposed. It's confirmed. And no. I know that to be the case is because if you got something international, which a lot of these pastors do not have international connections like him. So that lets you know that he is a Debo of Debo's. He's a multi-millionaire for Satan. Exactly. Um, so 
he what how he makes his money is by they go by this scripture and you guys will be able to pull it up but it's a scripture that goes give all you have to follow christ or something like that i don't know what scripture it is christ. no no i know what you're talking about he want he, he <laughs> thinks he's christ yeah he thinks he's christ yeah. yeah so they fool people into doing that so people will give up their whether they own a boat they own a yacht they own a house they own a car everything would be signed over to pass it down in his ministry all and the cars wait 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 all the cars anything they get is belongs to him all the cars they have on the land in order to live on land yes that's the trade I, I listen, y'all. Listen, she 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 knows about this. She's saying that if they purchase a vehicle and they go on that land, that's no longer their vehicle; it's his vehicle. Basically, wow. yeah. When you live on land, all of those things are. Say, for instance, you have a family that live on land that have five children versus a family that live on land that have two children if that family that have two children has a minivan that can fit five children and the the mother and the father they're gonna trade that vehicle to those that family and they're gonna trade their small vehicle to the family with two children so this is how they get around everything is strategically planned and organized to pass the Dow. Another question I have, and this this bro, I, I'm just Jason Whitlock and them. You familiar with that, right? Yes. Okay. Does Jason Whitlock is Boule? How do how do how does he how close he is to these sports people? Because. How the hell he's one of the few pastors to get sports people to sponsor him? I don't Please. know the guy name. So I'm going to tell you all the NFL players that is in straightway. You have Kabir Gabao, Familia. You have Daniel Moore. You have the Lions Den, Daniel Muir. He was a, um NFL player. Then you have Rod Mattis. He's in the Hall of Fame. So these are the three people that has been um, – has been fellowshipping with straightway sports does he, have, does he have any political affiliates that back him because it has to be they're not going to give him property without any you don't have if you don't have to say the name because i don't want you yes that's gonna that the youtube is already on me as we speak because we say i what you say that he has political backup who is uh um, Jason Whitlock. Does he have political backup? He has a lot of people in the ministry from different background nurses. When they when okay, like I, I know about that. I said political. Yeah. I'm talking about political, like political affiliates. Everybody, every pastor has a political affiliate. Does he have a political affiliate that backs him in the ministry? Yes or no? I don't know. I can't answer that. I don't know how far that goes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So I can't. I can't say yes or no. Time will tell. I'll do my research. I believe yes. he has political affiliate because in order to get the amount he get, and he don't have to pay tax. Because this is another thing, guys. I dare Diddy D Dowell to challenge me on this. He don't pay no taxes. Everybody else paid taxes except him. So he has he has this foundation, the straight whatever foundation it is, and that's where ma mainly most of the money goes to avoid taxes. I I don't know exactly how deep that goes financially, but I know how um how the money runs throughout the ministry. He has control of all of that. This is why when Brother Rufus, Pastor Rufus came out and he he told he told you guys that he had land and partial of it been in his name and partial of it been in Pastor Dow's name. This is the reason why he could have chased um Rufus off the land just like that. 
I don't know how the legal um, thing goes with land and stuff like that, but partial of it was signing Pastor Dow and he had more rights to the land than Rufus did, even though Rufus shared the land with him. So I don't know how it goes legally, but yes. That's a political move. That's a political move. Yes. We're going to find out from Rufus when he come on tomorrow. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, y'all, industry, political, members of society, they all in cahoots with each other. And you, the people, have to leave these things and get out of them. All you guys that's bringing you, let me say this respectfully. All you guys, this is what I want to say respectfully. All you guys that's bringing yourself as a man, and you have women and children, to go to ask another man for a place, don't ever do that. Don't do that, fellas. All you guys in the chat, listen to me. You be on your own boss. I don't want to, I don't, listen. We're going to do it the nation over religion. We're not doing it the way Dow was doing. When you get your land, you get your deed, you have something to leave for your children. All this, men, it's time for you to man up. Stop kowtowing to this sissy, no talent glaze, dirty dollar who can't get a woman on his own, who's forcing women to leave their husbands, getting these other sissy five men because they can't. So would you say this, right? Being that you was there, would you say as a lady they can't get women on their own? No, what they do is they, like I said, I sent you the video, the betrothal video. That video was, what they do is they slander your name subliminally. So when you leave the ministry, they're not going to call your name, but you and them know who they're talking about in those videos because they know your secret. So when you fellowship with them, all of, all those times that you attend Shabbat, it counts towards um, them graduating you up to a higher level, meaning that if they can indoctrinate you fast enough, you move up. If they can't, then they will keep you at that same level. So what they did was after, after they realized that, okay, I'm obedient, I'm listening to them, I'm following direction, I'm attending Shabbat every Saturday, they thought that I was ready to for to be indoctrinated. This is why I got to go to the Feast of Tabernacle. This is where I was even, they was even trying to move me communal with them to live in the same house with them. But because I had a bridge in between me, which was my husband, which was giving me instruction and I was following it, they couldn't get far. So what they was doing is they was trying to do exactly what that woman did to brother Jeremy. Come in and try start something so me and my significant other would fight and argue and they can fought indoctrinate me so they can move me on. So what they do is they the woman, the women that whoever they're trying to be trapped, they don't tell you the woman don't know anything of who they're gonna marry. So all that nonsense that Kabir was talking, but he went up to um, the girl, um, Brie and whatever it is, I don't believe that. I think that is a sham. That is a, a video that he was doing to do um, damage control because they don't allow the men to communicate with the women. So they was trying, I don't know who they was trying to marry me off to, but <laughs> they were, I started to see that they was trying to convince me to leave oh, my oh, husband. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Listen here, straightway. Listen here. Listen here, chump. You don't come in my chat say she lying. Listen here, sissy boy. Listen here. What's she lying about? All you men over there in straightways a bunch of sissy boys. You hear me? You are a yes dirty boy. That's what you are. And well, that's why I sent you those videos. Yes. What's she lying about, punk? 
I can't wait when the Most High get those women riled up and shut your shit down, you sissy boy. And that's why. And that's why I sent you those links so that you know uh, whatever device that Ringo has to download those videos, he can go and download them quick so that they don't erase them because they're gonna come out and slander me. And this is why I. I dropped from social media. I stopped coming on social media for a while because I knew when I left there, they was going to slander me. And that's the videos that they put out. But as instructed by my husband to not entertain them, to not study them, to not respond to them, it died down. But they put those two videos out. And if you want to father hear how they indoctrinate the women, you can check out Straightway Help Me. And when you go in the comments of all those videos, every last one of them, the comments are off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They turn it off the comments. They turn off all the comments and all they back up and all they channels. They was instructed by Dirty D Dowell to do that. Yeah. So in the congregation, they don't want you listening to anybody outside of Straightway. Straightway have their own music. They have their own um, women um, fellowshipping. They have their own Block Talk Radio. Tune into Block Talk Radio every Thursday for the women. Um, I believe about six to five on Block Talk Radio, and I think sat, um, Sunday or Saturday for the men. So they have all of these things that are plotted and planned behind the scenes that the people on face of whatever platform they're streaming on won't know. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, what's up, Samuel? What's up, Mark the Messenger? Yeah, if you guys want to support the Cash App, the Cash App is pinned to the top. You know, it's up to you guys and ladies if you want to support the Cash App. You know, I told y'all it's about to get riled up. This is just the beginning of it because we're going to have one Rufus tomorrow. So, you know, and then I got my other shows. They are pissed off right now. They upset because I told y'all they're going to come. Everybody's coming out, man. They're coming over here. They want to talk They talk. So I'm going to let them talk They talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask questions. So to me, like I told you guys, some of these dudes a long time ago, they don't know how to talk to women. And I'm glad that she stuck with her husband, shout out to him, and that she didn't leave him and that they try to vary her away from her husband because what they're trying to do is get all the women for themselves that they never had, they never had to begin with. And yeah. this is the reason why communication is so ahead. important. Go yes. Go ahead. No, communication between your husband is so important. They didn't know how deep our communication was because everything they communicated with me, I always went back to him and I told him. Anything that they told me, I told him. That's right. That's right. And I'm glad everything is still going strong with y'all. All praises to the most high because... I have I have conversations with her, her husband many times. So her husband know who I am. Of course, he did his research. And I got to do my research with people. And I was wondering where she was at because she always used to come. So this makes sense now. Yes, they, they sent smear campaign against me. They, they start trolling because, as you can see, I still have my platform image. And I used I had a YouTube channel, Kings and Queens Motivation Show where I used to just talk positive, give, give um, like women just insight on what, how a man thinks and how he feels and how he communicates and stuff like that, just insight. And when I left the ministry, because what they do during the Shabbat service, they have something called deliverance, where they talk tongues, they start talking tongues over you. So they will carry you into one of their dwell in space, one of their rooms, and it will be you and another sister, and they will have you confessing all your, like your wrongdoings, your skeletons, just bringing them out and talking about your, you know, your 
repenting and stuff like that. And these is the information that they hold on you, all the dirty deeds that you tell them, like all the negative information. Say, for instance, if I had to tell them, okay, I masturbate or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like dirty stuff that you don't want everybody to know about. You will, they will pull you in the room and they will make you feel guilty. And then they will start talking tongues over you, holding you down and acting like they're delivering you from um, spirits and stuff like this. But what they're doing is they're having you to repent your bad um, information so they can hold these against you so they can later use it against you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Any any time that you do something, it's just like the industry. You know, they try to, they try to, they really wanted to do, and, and the thing is, it wouldn't surprise me if they, they traded in their wives, you know, here and there for orgies and stuff, just like they do in the industry. You know, trading in a woman, hey, you could take my wife for one day and, oh, okay, yeah, you've been wanting my wife, okay, let's do this, let's change, I want your wife for one day, doing swipes, doing a lot of corn stuff in there, in the in the higher ups, a lot of that going on, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Because, see, when you look at this whole thing, everybody, they thought that nobody would come out. And there's going to be more people coming out. It's just a matter of when. And it's going to get to a point, they're going to have to shut down immediately. They're going to have to shut down. And they're going to come up with another name. Just like how a lot of these industries do. Come up with different names. They're probably working on that right now. Because they're going to deflect like they always do. And they're going to say, all these people talking crazy. No, 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 no. I'm glad you stick with your husband, even though he was locked up. You didn't leave him. You believed in the most high. You stick with him through thick and thin. And I'm glad that he is loyal to you like you're loyal to him. All praise to the most high. And y'all have some great children. You know what I'm saying? Doing your thing. Speaking about that, speaking about the children. Do they do they look at the children as nothing? So, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, so what they do, they prefer single women or women that their husband is currently not with them. Like in my situation, my husband was in prison. So they use that. They look at what they can gain. So when you think of all the women that don't work on straight way, and I always, because there's, there's like a um, thing that we do back home, um, I'm Caribbean, and the polygyny. And this is, this is where I would agree that polygyny is more successful than um, monogamy, because monogamy, the government basically monitors everything you do. So what the Arabs do back home is they will have their wife stay at home, no work, no income, where they can apply for public assistance, like food stamp, health insurance, because they have no source of income. So the first wife will not apply because she's legally bound to, um, like she's married to the system, to her husband. But the other wives, because most of the Arab guys, um, the Southern Arabia guys, they would um, they will have multiple wives. Even though it's not legal to marry legally in America, you can have multiple wives. So they will live on the one roof and all the other wives, because they're not born to the system, which is the American marriage law, they can apply as a single woman to the public assistance and get food stamp and all of these things, which increase the income. So what? Yeah, you there? Hold on, y'all. I think I cut off. I don't know what happened. You there? 
DJ, you there? Shanae, you there? Can y'all hear me in the chat? Hello? Yeah. Are you going to hear me just now? I was talking to myself. Oh, no, no, stream yards is acting up right now. You, you're telling too much truth. Go ahead. <laughs> so you hear the part where I was telling about the Arabs and how they... um. Yes. Okay. So basically, they look, they target women that are broken and traumatized. They use this against most women. The, the reason why I know all this information, and it's very important that women know about this, is because how I acted, how I moved when I came to them, most women don't move like that. They're easy to get aggressive, loud mouth, angry. They don't submit. They're not obedient. So I was able to last a long time with these people before I decided to part ways and just move back because they was trying to do real sick, sinister stuff. You know what I'm saying? So the reason I was able to last long with them is because I fit in perfect with them naturally where it took months so, um, or a lot of indoctrination to the other women to become the way they are. It didn't take me a lot to be that way. So they thought that I was enough or indoctrinated enough so they could have moved me to a higher level. So basically, the most high gave you an optionary and you chose that optionary and BS, you chose that optionary they thought you was easy to get. And then when they realized you wasn't easy to get, you already was 10 steps ahead of them before they could go and do something to you if need be. And you got out of there just in the nick of time before that was to happen. So yeah. that's good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. So what they do, um, like I said, they, they communicate through Marco Polo so they can track you. And you're in a group with the the people that fellowship in your state, the women that fellowship in your state. So when it was closer time for me to, um, when I backed away, the reason I backed away is because they start doing what Mother Nelly did when she ran into the house and she didn't know I can't marry you. I, I can't marry you. Um, that's my friend. So this is what they, the women do in the group chat. So when they feel that you have been indoctrinated enough, they begin to start lashing out and breaking you down. So what they was doing is they was talking about the fruits of the spirit. Some women in here don't have the fruits of the spirit. They are lacking the fruits of the spirit. And they will start coming subliminally at you and they will start throwing like they will not they will not come forward they will just start throwing subliminals at you like what pastor Dow do when anybody leaves the ministry he doesn't call names so he would he would just slander you but he wouldn't call names he would throw shade basically like that so they it's something that is taught to these heads of the communities of different states so they will start coming down on you. The women will start coming down on you. They will be ganging up on you. Right. And subliminally, they will be throwing shade. And it will get you to respond. So they could tell you, oh, you, you have a spirit on you. It's like you have a spirit on you. You need deliverance and, and stuff like that. So they start coming down on me. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jewels. She was talking about Dow. If you could unhide Tracy, moderators, if you um can unhide Tracy, Tracy was talking about Dow. So it must have been a mistake by one of my moderators. You'll be un unhidden in a second. Yeah. So we're gonna. I'm gonna ask you one more question because I gotta get ready to go to the theater. So, I mean, I'm glad you came on. Listen, I'm not liking the likes, y'all. We're supposed to be over 100 likes right now. 
Why I'm only seeing 54 likes? Why I'm seeing only 54 likes? Oh, she she'll be back. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll wait for her to come back. Listen. I appreciate everybody for tuning into the show, right? We have 170 people in. Why we only got 54 likes, according to my phone? Get the lights up right now. We should have been at over 100 lights. Dow, it's only getting warmed up. So shout out to the sister for coming on, DJ Shanae. I appreciate her coming on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, they messing with my lights, John Champ? Nah, man. There's people not liking the video, fam. The people ain't liking the video. They supposed to have been liking the video. You know? So look, y'all. I'll be back on tonight. I got to go see the movie. You know what I'm saying? Got to go see the movie. I want to get to my seat. I already paid for my ticket ahead of time. So get ready for tomorrow, 7 o'clock. If I don't come on tonight, I'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m. And I will have on Pastor Rufus, Newbury, and Ringo, and everybody will tune in. This will make sure y'all like that video right now, all you 170 folks. Like that video. Get that video like right now. And so shout out to Joey. Joey's the only one that supported the Cash App. So if you send something to the Cash App that's pinned to the top, I'll shout you out on the next video. I will not be monetized. I just want you to know right now, I will not be monetized until July 9th. Okay, she's back. She's back. So I have one more question for you before I get ready to go. Yes, I was talking a whole while. I don't know what's going on with the um, information, but yeah. I would like um, that if you have any other question, I can fill you. And I was giving you the whole rundown on how these women operate and the, the process of the, how they fall to break you down and stuff. I, it's a lot. It's a lot that I have. Impossible. If you're available tomorrow, we could do a part two before I have one Rufus. Uh, absolutely. I would like, um, like if, well, you know, since new breed and these guys are challenging past the Dow, I would like, if they have questions that I can fill you guys in on and any information on the inside that I can fill you guys on that I know of, I can share that with you guys, you know, and you're free to use this, um, this audio. I didn't want to come on because I, I just, I really don't want to be a part of all this, you know, this documents and stuff. But they the video, your man, yeah. They know your man ain't no joke. Listen, they know your man ain't no joke. <laughs> so they know your husband ain't no joke. All they're going to do is talk, is they're going to talk. Mainly they're going to attack. They're not really going to say anything to you more so. They're going to come at me because they're not saying my name yet. They, they, they scared to say my name. They say Newbury and Ringo's name for now. Or they know they or they they know who or they, they they know who I'm connected to as well. So they yes, have no idea they, they would get themselves involved in. At the same to time, answer, I'm sorry, to answer Mark the Messenger's um question, he said I mentioned that they have confession rooms. Yes, they do. And it happens on Shabbat service. So they closely study you. If anything bothering you, they try to like get into your business. They try to see how you are communicating with other people. They closely monitor you. And when it comes to um, the Shabbat service that takes place on the Saturdays, they would they will have you sitting in um like for example, they would um try to talk to you and see if anything is bothering you and bring you into one of their rooms and it will have you and two other women holding your hands down and just speaking tongues over you and you will begin to cry it's, it's like a witchcraft type of feeling 
Yeah. yeah. It, it, and when they was doing it to me, I used to feel weird. Like, like it, it's like a spiritual attack on me. It, it, it just, it will make me break down and stop breathing and stop having my nose, like my nose running and stuff like that, throwing up and things like that. It, it was weird. Hey, listen here. Listen here, Chuck. Hey, listen. Listen here, Alistair Hebrew. You straightweight SOB. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. What's she lying about, Chunk? What's she lying about? What you got them? You got them queer glasses on? What you got that? You got that whole top fro? That may sound a haircut? Listen here, Chunk. She ain't lying about a goddamn thing over here. Your shit is going down. And go tell your pastor I said it. Go tell that widow I said it. Your shit going down. Y'all have no legs to talk over here, Trump. Now tell that idiot to come in the goddamn chat. Tell that motherfucker to come in the chat and be a motherfucking man. Why he sending you bitch ass niggas to come talk to him? Bring his ass over here. He gonna get that motherfucking work when he talk to me. He said I'm big. Well, this big ass nigga get more women than him. I ain't gotta force no woman to be with me. I ain't gotta lie no woman to leave her goddamn motherfucking husband, you bitch ass motherfucker. Prove more Ellis ass nigga. Who you think you talking to over here? Don't disrespect this woman and her husband. And it's going to be more people leaving straightway. And you're going to run out of money. You're going to run out of time. And the politicians that's backing you is going to remove themselves from you real soon. Because all is going to come out. You got them yes-ass motherfuckers. What kind of man are you coming in my goddamn chat with your little beady eyes and shit? Queer-ass motherfucker. And I'm going to show that clip again on video where straightway Indiana, listen here, bitch ass nigga, straightway Indiana, I'm talking to you. What you doing hugging up on another man, making out with him and kissing him and doing that goddamn ditty shit, nigga? Y'all saying that Ringo and Newbury suspect? No, motherfucker, you suspect. Let me tell y'all something. When these niggas talk about suspect, them niggas is suspect. Guess you ain't in the goddamn chat now, Ellis the Hebrew. I will roast you till you don't even got a goddamn channel no more. And by the way, straightway stands for snake way. Snake the devil. Eating my ass, motherfuckers. I'm just tired of you black Edomites, man. I'm tired of you black Edomites, man. Every time a woman come by, you niggas lose your mind like you never seen a woman before. Or you never had a woman that's talented. That's what it is. You want them, A hey, be quiet type of girls. Them, you know what they always say about them quiet girls? When they get had enough, they going to put something in your goddamn drink. And the next thing you know, you be on nightly news. And the news. Someone from Straightway mysteriously passed away. If a man, if a man has to, you know, argue with you to just listen and be obedient, and it's not difficult. You can have a voice and still be submissive and humble. And this is why I sent you those videos because I don't want them to go and erase them and say, "Oh, I was never a part of Straightway or anything like that." Or yeah, yada, yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I'm saying? They don't know what they don't know what I got. <laughs> and I'm I'm gonna yeah. try to look for the jump drive. I don't know where it disappeared. I had a jump drive with all of the information backed up with Straightway. Time. Take your time. Take your time. Yeah, I'm gonna try Tell to look for us on my way back. Tell your husband, I say, what's up? If you want to do a show tomorrow at five, we could do a part two before I have on, you know, our brother, 
you know, Pastor Rufus and the brothers coming on. All right. Okay. Um, well, being that it's so much information, uh, it would be better if you can you guys have like any questions that I can answer. I can't yeah. answer everything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It will be better that way because all my information is kind of all over. It's so much that I can yeah. put you guys insight on and how straight we run. It's levels to it. It's not something that you just yeah, get in and you pull down. Yeah. Yes. Yep. All right. I appreciate you coming on, DJ Chanel. I'm oh. glad to hear you back. And to, you, you gave us a, a drop of gems for real. Yeah, and, I can. And, I can imagine. Yeah, I'm sorry. I could imagine how Jeremy felt because this has been wearing on me for so long. I felt like I didn't have a voice. I felt like nobody would listen to me or hear me. My platform was small. I end up telling these sisters during one of the um, one of the Shabbat service, the deliverance, that I had a platform. And then when I left, they start trolling my platform. Even though I wasn't talking nothing about Pastor Dow or anything pertaining to straightway, I was just giving information on how men think, you know how to better deal with your husbands and stuff like that. And these people was trolling me. So I decided, okay, I'm gonna just fall back. But I've had this title, Kings and Queens Motivation Show in 2021. And I just fall back from social media altogether. I stayed, I lurked, but at the same time, that was too much on me. I'm not somebody that argues and curse and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's just not me. Absolutely. Tell your husband I say what's up. Tell oh, okay. What saying. And um, I want him. I really want him and you to be on the show. I know he's a busy man. I would love to have both of y'all on the show because that will throw that will get these motherfuckers even more mad in a good way, and it deserves me so. Yes, he's not. He's not a so. He's not a person that kind of like social media like that. We do podcasts from time to time, but um, I did ask his permission before I came on. I asked him what he thinks about it. I did express that this has been on my chest for quite some time. So like I said, I know how Jeremy feels and his um, testimony was definitely heartwarming because I felt the same way. Like I didn't have a voice, I couldn't speak. I had to hold in all this information that I know and I couldn't move forward. I couldn't move forward because I knew, like, I felt like people's life, people's blood was on my hand because I know so much and I wasn't able to let it all out. And now that I've been able to give my testimony, I can move forward with my life and just forget about straightway. I've done my job and I spoke my testimony and share it with people so that they will know what to look forward for. If you hear this testimony and you decide you want to still go forward with straightway, that's on you. But I did my part and I share as much information and I'm willing to share more information as much as I can. Any questions that you might have in the future, I'm willing to share them. And you do have my information, whatever question, whatever day you want to set up that I can come back on and answer these questions. Okay. I can do it. Yes. All right, sounds good. Oh, okay. Eric is in the Eric is in the house. Shout out to Eric, man. Hey. Shout out to Eric in the house, man. That's another brother. That was Yeah. His testimony. Yeah, he should have been there earlier. Everything that he went through, I was I was on the verge of going through that too. So I can vouch and say that what they're saying is factual because they was trying it to me. I just didn't get that far because I was not brainwashed. I had my eyes open. Oh, it's about to be lit tomorrow. It's about to be lit tomorrow, y'all. Rufus is coming on. We're going to break this internet to a higher level such as never before with 
everybody's going to tune in tomorrow. People ain't going to be on tomorrow. People ain't going to be on. Everybody going to be here tomorrow. And you're going to have a lot of content creators. And I'm going to say this. When Rufus come on, Ringo, you're going to get your answer. It will hit the news station. It will. I Listen, I guarantee you, when we have this show tomorrow and you guys come on, it will hit the news station. It's going to come to a theater near you. You heard it from Rollo. Okay, so yeah, I give I give you guys, you know, information to use as much information from this video, audio clip, whatever, you know, and to follow, like I said, I sent you those links and I'm going to send you more that I think you should um just pay attention to and watch. Okay. But um I'm going to look for that jump drive. I don't know where it's at. I'm yeah, I moved it. Yeah. It. Seeking you shall find. You and your husband will find it. Yes. So with that said, oh, okay. Thank you so much. One with your testimony, and we have another one. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Shalom to you and your husband. All right, everybody. Woo we. <laughs> Houston, Texas. I gotta go catch the movie right now, man. I gotta catch this cab, man. The movie starts in 12 minutes. Well, the movie starts in 20 minutes. I gotta go catch this cab. Let me let me get my cab right now. So tomorrow at 7 p.m. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. Rufus will come on. Eric, I want you to come on too. Uh Eric. Be in, the, be in the chat, 7 p.m. tomorrow. I'm going to put the link in the chat for you to come on. And Newbury and Ringo, Mark, whoever wants to come on. So you live in the Middle East? Okay, so 7 p.m. Eastern time. I don't know what time it is by you. So 7 p.m. New York time or Floor at the time. East Coast time, I think it's about a.m. by you right now. So, yeah, around that time. Hey, look, y'all. I got to catch this Uber. So let me call my thing right now. Catch this movie. I got to see this movie. You know what I'm saying? The Civil War movie. And, um, hey, man, good to see Brother Eric in the building. You know it's about to be eight hours ahead. So that's about 3 o'clock a.m. So, yeah, 3 a.m. If you could come on, you know, if you up at that time, I, the link will be in the chat. It's about to be a doozy tomorrow, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow. All right. I may not do an upload. I may not do an upload, man. So if y'all don't see me tonight, just know y'all see me tomorrow evening. And this is everybody go like that video right now. Everybody go like that video right now. I want this. Let me see how many likes is this for tomorrow. Let me check. Let me check if y'all like the video. Because if y'all like the video ahead of time, that's gonna get more people in the chat. Let's get the likes up for that video tomorrow. Let's see how many likes we have. I only see five likes. Listen, all you 129 fo folks, go like the video for tomorrow. I better see 100 likes in there by the time the show starts. I only see five likes. I liked it myself. Only four people liked it so far. Let's get the likes up over there, over 100. Why? Because then the algorithm is going to speed it up to 1,000 people. We want to get over a thousand people. Watch that tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> he, he won't dare come in my chat. He won't dare. He's not mad enough to come in my chat. Because he, because what it is, is that 
he know he gonna get roasted and posted. He can't. He can't. He's not man enough to come in my chat. He'll come with his troll account. <laughs> And I think that was his troll account, by the way. I think that was one of his troll accounts. <laughs> so I I already roasted him already. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow, y'all. Peace out, everybody.